So my top three hobbies are watching anime, making videos about anime, and watching other anime YouTubers. I actually try to keep up with just about everybody in the community, even most of the newer channels. But I have noticed an odd similarity between both large and small channels. The word cinematography almost never comes up when they're talking about anime. And rightfully so, to some extent. The popular definition of cinematography refers to the use of a camera in film. And since anime is merely drawn and a camera is not used, then obviously the word cinematography is not applicable to anime. But this couldn't be further from the truth, thanks to two separate reasons. The first is that most anime imitate the use of a camera. While the second is that the popular definition of cinematography is a fallacy. So today I want to thoroughly explain what cinematography is, and also talk about how it's used in anime. So let's start by defining cinematography. Unfortunately it's not as easy as reading a definition off of a page because the word cinematography covers a lot. I mean, just Google it. The art of making motion pictures. Great explanation, Google. So the easiest way I can think of to describe what cinematography is, is the art of capturing light. In essence, it's the process of capturing moving images onto a sensor to be played back at a later date. But there is still a little bit more to it than that. It's also about what is being captured inside of a given frame. The placement of objects, characters, and even sometimes what's not inside of the frame. So that's a pretty broad definition, and it can be interpreted in many ways. And trust me, a lot of people have abused that fact. Personally, and before I go any further, I'm going to stress that this is purely my opinion. This is not factual in any way, shape, or form. I enjoy cinematography that helps push the story forward. I believe that the most important part of film is the narrative itself. One of my favorite examples being the short story before the movie, Up. The happier scenes use these nice and bright colors in fairly open spaces, while on the other hand the sadder scenes use these closed off spaces and a darker palette of colors. In other words, the cinematography is complementing the narrative, making the audience much more empathetic. This is my favorite use of cinematography. So let's finally switch back to anime. Now personally, I feel like a lot of anime are lazy with their cinematography. I believe a lot of shows get way too concerned about the quality of their art, which ends up hurting them more than it helps. One anime I would like to refer to is Fruit of Grisea, an absolutely gorgeous anime art-wise, but when it comes to cinematography, it's incredibly weak. The art of the anime doesn't quite match the serious tones that the show pushes. Well, except for the random fan service. The way the shots are framed in this anime seem to only really care about conveying the most amount of information in the shortest period of time. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to continue harping on this anime for not putting a lot of thought into its cinematography. After all, most anime don't do it either. But thanks to its lack of forethought, it's a forgettable show that falls into obscurity. But let's talk about a show that is not so obscure. A little something known as Kill a Kill. This anime is the exact opposite of Fruit of Grisea. The art style is debatably ugly, but whereas some may take this as an accident, Kill a Kill does this on purpose. For the sake of making cinematography match the narrative, they chose this chaotic art style. The chaotic art style matches the chaotic narrative and lets them do things in the frame that they wouldn't be capable of doing with any other style. The show uses this chaotic art style as an element to its cinematography. This crazy cinematography helps tell the narrative, making this incredibly crazy show stand out that much more, thus making Kill a Kill the extremely popular show that it is now. But still, I do want to name one that does a better job. A Silent Voice is a pretty incredible anime movie. I could do a whole video on just how many things this movie does right, but one thing it definitely specializes in is cinematography. Every frame of this anime has meaning. It not only pushes the narrative forward, it also helps the viewers immerse themselves into the world that our main character lives in. By the way, I'm not gonna lie, this movie totally inspired this video. What's important in this movie is more so what the camera does not capture. In other words, people's faces. The movie often cuts to shots of people's feet, so much so that it even became kind of a meme. Not to mention, whenever characters are in frame, they put these X's over their faces. This is an extremely unique design choice that I feel heavily benefits the narrative. 
Our main character suffers heavily from social anxiety and this is how he deals with it. He never looks anyone in the face. The cinematography of this anime reflects this idea perfectly. Only when he accepts someone as a friend does the ex finally get removed. Either way, I'm just gonna stop drooling over this movie. I also don't wanna spoil anything for most of you who haven't seen it. But if you have not seen this movie, please go fix that. Either way, my main point for this video is to bring awareness to the use of cinematography in anime. I feel like a lot of people just focus on the quality of art, but honestly, that's not always important. There are shows and movies with art that isn't really that incredible, but are infinitely better thanks to their smart use of cinematography. In essence, all cinematography is, is putting moving images onto a sensor. But when it comes to using it wisely to influence the narrative, you can create something that's truly amazing. Not many anime abuse this, but the ones that do will continue to stand out from the crowd. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's just in a time where most anime are four characters sitting in a club room talking, I think good cinematography is something that I really like the community to talk about more. Do you guys agree with me that cinematography relating to the narrative is important, or no? Also, what anime do you guys consider to have the best cinematography? As for me, I'm sticking with a silent voice, but I'm kind of interested to see your opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider sharing, liking, and subscribing. This is Mammy Matt. Make sure you guys stay man. Go watch that goddamn anime!